Hello Pisces, thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Star Spinner Tarot by Chris Ann. Website for them is chroniclebooks.com. If it focuses, focus. There we go. So if you just freeze frame there, you can find that if you want to. Supportive Oracle Cards, Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards by Tori Hartman, illustrated by Gretchen Raish Baskin. This one has ToriHartman.com and WatkinsPublishing.co.uk. Uh, there also is the WatkinsPublishing.com, in case that matters to anybody. So I have another, you know, I have another deck by Tori, and um, it says .com on that one. So if .co.uk doesn't work, try .com and vice versa. <laughs> All right, what do we have for Pisces? Is it better to let something go? All right, so I always I say this. I feel like all the time uh, when I do Pisces reads, especially you know I'm a Pisces, so I'm feeling it with you. Um, is it better to let somebody go or to give them a chance? I feel like that's where we're 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 at the spot where this card goes either way. It's either the ending or a new beginning. Because uh, the death card, you'll notice there's a woman holding a baby. So it's sometimes the death card can be li literally something ending very abruptly. Other times it could be the birth of a new situation. But the death is like the way of living is over. Um, so I feel like when I'm dealing with somebody, I feel like it's a person. It's either we work together or we work in different places or we work away. Either we work together or we work on our, our way apart. Uh, and we decide what we're going to do here. Are you... Uh, see, the other person has ideas about what they want. And this doesn't have to be romantic. This could definitely be like a work situation where somebody likes you a lot, has a lot of good ideas and wants you to be a part of something, but they have all these ideas about what they want and how you fit into what they envision they want their life to be. It, for a lot of you, I do feel like this might be work. Like somebody feels like you'd be a good piece to the puzzle and this is where you want them to be. I feel like you do have a lot of stability around you with the Four of Wands. And I feel like you're also the type of person, like if I do commit myself to this, I'll stick with it if I decide that's right. But halfway isn't going to work. It, are we going forward or not? Part of me thinks some of you are going to move on from this and decide this isn't for you. Others of you will get deeply involved. But I feel like this whole, the whole reading is about, like, we need to get to that point, like, go left or go right. Don't just hang out in the center. Don't hang out in the middle anymore. That's not going to serve you. And it's just choose left or right. Choose yes, choose no. Choose one or the other. Don't hang out in the middle. Because I'm getting it's impact. It's we're not going to be able to make a decision if we just stay out, hang out, and just keep waiting for something different or waiting for a better reason. It's time for us to choose. It's time for the Pisces to choose. Yes, I want it. No, I don't. And then respond accordingly. Move forward accordingly. Um, the impasse with the um, the temperance. I'm getting like nothing changes if we don't like nothing goes well. I want to put it that way like. I feel like I'm stuck in second gear, and it's like, all right, either I have to get rid of this clunker and get a better car, or I have to do what I need to do to get it to, I have to invest the money into it, or, you know, put the money into it to get it fixed so I can actually drive it the way I'm supposed to. The second gear thing isn't going to work any longer. Um, you do have the chance to choose something different. It's coming up very soon. I think this is good. I'm just like slowly letting it come in because I'm seeing like whoever you're dealing with is going through a, a rough patch coming up very soon, very, very soon. This is that moment where, you know, if you're going to, if you've decided to go, it's easy to go because they're not going to have the energy to stop you. If you've decided to stay and make it deeper, 
they need your help, so they're going to let you closer. It's going to be a lot easier. When this moment happens, you already have to have made up your mind before this moment happens, though. I'm going to stay. I'm going to go. Because when the moment happens and they go through this rough spot, it's not your fault either way, but that's for your moment because it comes in very quickly. Something really quickly comes in and changes the landscape for them. And as they're recovering and rebuilding, you have to decide... Are you going to be a part of it or are you not? There, it's going to be difficult either way. Staying with it, going away, whichever way you decide, it's going to take some work to get through it. But it's a lot easier if you've already decided what you want instead of just floating in the middle and just things just never get better. Things can't get better until you make a decision. You have to make a decision what you want. Um, and it's through this recovery process with this other person when that starts happening, do you build yourself in? Do you build yourself out? If you're just kind of halfway, it's just like you get in this weird area and it's really hard to get away from it, but it never really takes hold. It's kind of like, you know, if there's a main group of people and you're not really sure if you want to get close to them or not and you just stay on the fringe, you never really enjoy the benefits the majority does, and you, but you never really find another group that you do fit into so that you can enjoy the main benefits like everybody else. You just kind of float on the side on this one group. You never hit your full potential. If you decide, all right, I'm going to get involved in it, when something goes wrong and some, you know, that's your chance to get in, kind of like, oh, you need help, I will help you, you're welcomed into the main group. But if something happens and you're like, well, usually when I try to go away, I get a hard time or somebody stands in my way. If something is distracting them, you're like, okay, this is my time. I'm going to leave quite quietly, not to create a hubbub, and I'll go do what I want to do over this way. I'm just going to leave that alone and I'm going to find something else that does serve me. I just don't want to, like if we sit here on the fringe, we never really get what we want. We just kind of sit here and just, I feel like it's very boring. It's very uneventful. I can respect that sometimes, especially if you've had a life where it's been like crazy. <laughs> if you've had a life where it's been like, well, I prefer boring to bad. <laughs> I can understand that. I mean, I guess that's a choice, too, if, they, if you decide that's what's appropriate. You have to decide. I mean, you're the one living the life. You decide what's appropriate, clearly. Um, I'm, but this reading, I feel like if this reading is coming to you, you get the knight of, not the knight, it's the king of swords. It's time for you to think about what you want and decide in that way when it comes. Because I don't think you want to just sit here on the side. Because I don't feel like that's good. It's kind of like either be involved or go away and go to something else. Um... You will be, if you go towards it, you will be welcome is what I'm getting because this is very compatible energy. Swords and, oh, swords and pentacles, not pentacles, swords and wands go together very well. That's air and fire. They do work well together, you know, how that works. Um, air feeds fire, you know what I mean? Fire burns brighter with air. When... If you're on the inside, by the way, if you choose to be on the inside or closer to this person, when the reformation reformation happens and they start pulling back and, you know, overcoming the negativity and rebuilding where it's supposed to be, it's not like a complete tower moment. It's just a really like somebody's having a hard time. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's not like a tower moment. Tower is different. Like that's like almost like a lightning bolt out of the blue. Like everything was fine. Everything was fine. Bam. Things go kaflui. I feel like this is something where they just have to face the music that something isn't right. And then when they're, they're like, all right, that's not right, and now I have to fix it. It's kind of like, you know, you bring the dog home for the first time, you let them go in the house, and they rip through the house, and they tear things and knock things over, and this, that, and the other thing. All right, we get the dog under control, but now I just have to go clean up everything. I kind of let it loose myself. I'm not really shocked that it happened. I just didn't think it would be that bad. <laughs> it's kind of like that type of thing. Um, and the falsehoods fade away. The facade fades away. Like what's not real. Like whatever was between you and them before, before you were on the inside, before you were closer to them, there might be things you thought were true that weren't true. Those truths will come through. The facade will fall away. When I'm getting facade here, I'm getting it's going to fade away. They're going to tell you things that maybe you didn't know. You're going to get a lot more intel. Is there anything else that I'm missing with this? Ironically, whoever you're dealing with isn't all that happy either, and they want a chance to make things better. You have the creativity to see this in a different light. You have the creativity to make this better. 
they might have the drive and like I feel like they have a piece of the puzzle you have a piece of the puzzle so if it's not creativity it's something else so if you decide to work with this person I do feel like it will go to your advantage if you decide it's not right do what you think is right and move on don't float in the middle anymore don't float I guess that's the whole thing don't float all right I think we're there I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below as well. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.